want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and the sincere Shalom to the Akim that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. All right, first and foremost, I want to say to Wadi Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving me and the fellow Akim the opportunity to do these lessons and these videos. The opportunity to, to go out there on the highways and on the hedges, all to edify and warn the nations, uh, to lock in the nations of Israel, which are the so-called Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans, the 12 tribes of Israel, the ones the law, statutes, and commandments, as well as the promises we'll give it to. Shalom. So this video, um, you know, just came came to mind when I was watching um, Apostle Aram Lop's, um, you know, short breakdown of uh, Numbers, the fifth chapter. And... Um, you know, within within that that uh that video that he uh and within that lesson, um he brought this up and he read up uh, I believe the, the third um the third, fourth and the fifth, I believe, I, I think. Um but uh what I did was I just kept reading on down because I completely forgot about this. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lock so you know, you don't really so certain scriptures you don't you know you don't go into all that much than others, so that was a good a good reminder of um grace, all right of of grace and why we are in a in a um in a in a grace period. Now this type the title of this video is grace is not an excuse to sin, all right. Grace is not an excuse to 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 to, to sin, all right. Now what do I mean by that? Well I'll get that in a second, which we already know what I mean by. It. Because, you know, grace has everything to do with sin, right? So, you know, you, the argument will come up, oh, what do you mean by that? You know, you, you have to sin to, you know, get grace or whatever. Some some shit like that you'll probably hear because, you know, Jake come up with all all types of questions. And this goes towards these the, the, the Christian doctrine, man, false Christian doctrine. Because what we, what, we, what we teach and what we do with these, uh, with these lessons and these videos, this is true Christianity. So what I'm going to do... As I'm going to read read through this, because this 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 part, this section of of uh, John Saint John the eighth chapter, is is pretty self explanatory when it comes to the adulterous woman, and when it comes to grace and mercy. All right, um, this is the book of Saint John chapter eight verse one. Yahweh Shai went unto the mount. Like Yahweh Shai went into the mount of olives, and early in the morning, he came again into the temple. All right. And all the people came unto him and he sat down and taught them and the scribes and Pharisees. So like it brought him brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. All right. It says, and when and when they had set her in the midst, they said uh, they say unto him, master, this woman was taken in adultery and in the in the very act. All right, in the very act, which you know, like Apostle Ramlov said, they saw, they saw, you know, they saw her do it. All right, she was caught. It says, um, this verse five. It says, now Moses in the law commanded us. Now, mind you, man, for you, for you, uh, old and new test, for you old testament Israelites, you know, most of the stuff, a lot, pretty much the new. You know, I'm not going to get into the into the you know the whole history of the canonization of, of the scriptures when it comes to the Old and New Testament. Really, is no such thing as the Old and New Testament, you know. But my main question is, why would you believe in half of the book? But that's getting off topic. But you know, pretty much a lot, you know a lot of times in the New Testament, you'll see the law of Moses, the law of Moses, the law of Moses, you know, over and over and over again. Why? Because it's the same thing, man. It's the same thing. Whatever it says in the in the New Testament, you can read in the old in the Old Testament. While some things had had, you know, I want I don't want to say changed a little bit, but more mercy had to be had to be uh, bestowed to the people because of the time that they were in. All right, because of the time that they were in. Why why was Paul going around doing what he was doing? You know, he had he had to have mercy on a lot on a lot of people, man, and a lot of Jake, which will probably more than likely be those Old Testament Israelites. Don't wouldn't don't like that. All right. Anyway, now Moses and the law commanded us that such should be stoned. All right. But what sayest thou? So you have to. So, you know, it was the law was serious, man. You know, the law was serious. You know, 
especially if you already knew, man. The law was serious. If you, if you was caught, you know, being the, all a lot of these people, hell, we're 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 worthy of death, man. You know, for the for the bullshit we did. But again, that's why I'm going into this scripture. This shit that's going on now, man, would not be happening in the ancient time, man. You know, at least on the magnitude of of, of what's 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 happening right now, man, it would not be happening. All right, because women back then, man, they had they had a they had some fear, man, because they would know if they did wrong, they would they would die, man. Men too had some fear, man. They would die. All right, the shit that these that these jakes and these jakeettes <laughs> are doing today, man. You know, because nobody has fear, because they don't they're not getting punished for their actions. All right. Anyway, uh, so it says, but what sayest thou? They this they said, tempting him. They that they might have to uh, that they might have to accuse him, but Yahweh Shah stooped down with his finger wrote to on the ground as though he heard them not. So Yahweh Shah was like, you know, he was almost like ignoring them, like you know, like he didn't even hear him. You know, he heard him, but he it was like he 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 it's like he didn't even hear him. All right, uh, verse seven, it says. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself, meaning he stood up and said unto them. He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. So pretty much what? He, whoever is sin free, completely sin free. These is, you know, scribes and Pharisees, man. You know, pretty much who whoever is uh, sin free. This, this is one of the main reasons why Jake hated Yahweh Shai so much, man. You know, um, but he stood up and he was pretty much saying anybody, any one of you. That's that hadn't sinned once. Throw the first stone at her. Go ahead. Throw the first stone at her. Why and why? Well, it's going to explain further why he why he said that. All right. Verse eight. It says, and again, he stooped down, meaning he sat right back down. All right. And and wrote on the ground, meaning he just, you know, he, he told them that and he sat right back down. All right. It says, and they which heard it being convicted by their own conscience it says went out one by one beginning at the eldest even until the last and yahweh Shah was left alone and and, uh, and the woman standing in the midst so it was just it was just uh yahweh Shah and the woman left because everybody left you know because they 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 didn't have an answer for that you know nobody nobody cast the first stone because every because what nobody there free from sin all right what nobody there uh well, not free from sin. What nobody nobody was without sin, you know, in in that room, all right. And they just left. So now it was just Yahweh Shai, and and the woman standing there. Now what? Now what did you? You know what did Yahweh Shai do? It says when Yahweh Shai had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those those thine accusers? Have no man condemned thee? She is right. It said, uh, verse 11, she said, No man, Lord. And Yahweh Shah said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Now, Christians would sit up there and say, See, you know, you got to forgive. You got to do this and you got to do that. We're not under the law anymore. We're not under this. We're not under that. You know, a lot of, a lot of Christians, a lot of Christians get a kick out of this, especially the woman. You know, see, she committed adultery. Jesus, Jesus didn't punish her. Why? I'm going to come back to this. Romans chapter six, verse 14. For sin shall not have dominion over you for ye, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. Now, hold on. Let's go on down. 15. What then? Here's the question, man. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? So what, what are they asking? Be, oh, so we're not under the law. So we can just go ahead and, you know, freely, just freely sin and do whatever we want to do. Eat pork, crab, shrimp, commit adultery, you know, uh, and, and worship other gods and shit like that. But it said what? God forbid. That means no. So now let's go back to this. Let's go back to this. Yahweh Shai. Now again, 
Let's go ahead. Let's go back up to verse 10. All right. When Yahweh Shah had lifted himself up. All right. Then he stood up and saw none but the woman. He said unto her, Woman, where are thou? Where are those thine accusers? Have no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Yahweh Shah said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. So she so that doesn't mean she went back and did it again, man. All right. It was mercy. It was mercy. And that's all Paul was doing, man. That's all Paul was doing. Now, this is Yahweh Shai. But you know, Yahweh, but again, Paul was just, you know, going to the footsteps of Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Now, again, it said, you know, sin no more. That means don't do it again. So that's why this has every, you know. That means don't do it again. All right. Well, uh, uh, it says, what then? Shall we sin because we are not under grace? I mean, like because we are not under the law, but under grace. God forbid. Right. So meaning and, and not being under the law, it doesn't mean the law is done away with. Let me let me make that clear, man. It doesn't mean the law is done away with. That's why, why do you think it said, God forbid, don't, don't, don't sin? Because it still, it still applies. But it's just that, you know, at that time and now, especially now, you can't keep the law 100%. It's, it's, it's impossible. And that's the Lord doing what? The Lord is showing us that we are still in our captivity and to not, to, not to get comfortable here, man. All right. Because that's a constant reminder of the Lord telling us, look, this ain't your rest. All right, this ain't your rest, this ain't your paradise. All right, you can't even keep my law, so obviously, this ain't your paradise. So, it doesn't mean that you know the law is done away with because that that last part wouldn't even this first 15 wouldn't even wouldn't even exist if that was the case. You know, what then shall we sin because we're not under the law but under grace? God forbid, said no, you still follow the law the, to, the, to the very best of your ability. So that's why I'm going into this, you know, like with this one, the Lord showed, showed mercy unto her, but he told her one important thing, man. And that's, that, that is, that is, you know, very, very important. Shit. What the hell? <laughs> that is very important, man. This right here, this right here, sin no more. See what you Christians do. Well, we're, we're not under the law, so don't even worry about it. So you just go on, you just go to just free just freely sin and just do whatever it is you want to do see that's why you christians man that's why y'all getting y'all getting dealt with man one by man group group by group man y'all getting y'all getting tore down man through the spirit of power lord how by shimmy y'all shy y'all losing members but the, now the problem is those members that y'all losing <laughs> they they just dropping the whole bible but you know what that's the lord man because the lord don't even want them to touch it and that's it's better that way don't even touch it man don't even fake it because you christians man y'all ain't nothing but fakers so you know, you got a lot of people dropping out of there just putting down the entire Bible, which is, you know, again, if they come by us, you know, we tell them, look, what you would, the way you was taught the Bible was, was completely wrong. But if they still don't want to get it, then that's the Lord. How about me outside saying what? I don't want, I don't even want them touching the book. I don't even want them trying to, I don't even want them, you know, saying Jesus anymore, man. I don't even want them saying that shit no more. I, I did. I'm just, I'm completely, completely, completely through with them, man. All right. So this is why you Christians, man, y'all getting dealt with, man. All right? Because y'all sitting up there leading people astray saying, oh, you ain't got to worry about it. Don't even worry about it, you know? That's what, see, you know, the Lord is really, really getting ready to start bringing some judgment down on you people, man. All right? So that was all, man. You know, hey, man, like, again, like the title said, man, grace is not an excuse to sin, man. All right? So giving all praise, honor, glory to you. How about Shemiel Shalom Wong?